Hello everyone and welcome back to our Python for data analysis training. Today we're going to be looking at the dot plot method on pandas data frames. And then we're also going to look at the value underscore counts method uh, for pandas series. And we're going to use that to count categorical data. And that will help us to plot, you know, bar charts so that we can see the frequency of occurrence of certain categories in our data. Another plot that we're gonna look at today would be the histogram. And so we're gonna plot the distribution of, you know, certain numerical values in our data set to see how frequently occurring those values are. The first step we're gonna take as usual is to import our libraries. And so, let's see, see, it doesn't seem to like this comment. So let me rerun this. So over here, we're importing pandas as pd and then matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We're not going to use this uh, library yet. There are some methods in here and attributes here that would help us to make adjustments to our plots. But then currently that's beyond the scope of this course. But then I put it here just to show you that there is a library like this that exists that can be used um, to, to make your plots look, you know, a bit different or even better. There's another library which is typically imported. It's called Seaborn. It's also a visualization library. And usually it's abbreviated as SNS. And then there's the matplotlib, the percent sign matplotlib, and then inline. Now this percent sign tells us that this is a magic function. And I put a link here if you want to read more about uh, the Python magic functions. But that's beyond the scope of this course. So I'll go ahead and run this. And then I'm going to read my data set into our df underscore hospital appointments variable. And then we can look at the head of the data set to see, you know, what the data set looks like. And then we can look at the tail just to explore and make sure that we have the right data in, in our data set. Another thing that we can do is do the info method and that tells us, that gives us a, a summary of the data that we have. So it's a metadata. Um, so it has what the, the type of our variable is. It says it's a data frame. And then the index is a range index from 0 to 110,526. It tells us that there are 14 columns. And these are the column indices. And it gives us the, whether there are any null values or not. So it seems like this is a pretty clean data set. Um, there are no null values. And then the data types here are, are shown, like integers, objects, uh, integers and objects. And objects are like strings. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to see if we can plot some of the numerical values. And... The numerical value that comes to mind is age. And so the first thing I want to be able to see is maybe someone asks, hey, can you show me the distribution of all the ages in this data set? So this data set to recap contains hospital appointments for uh, different patients and it shows whether they showed up or they did not show up. And so there are some characteristics in this data set, which, you know, hopefully we may be able to summarize and maybe later even predict if we, uh, a patient will show up if they, if they, if certain characteristics about them are met. And so the first thing I want to do is if we wanted to see, okay, what's the age of, or the average age or the distribution of ages in this data set. The first thing I'm going to do is select the age column and then assign it to a variable. 
So I call it, um, let me call it series underscore age because remember that we said every column in a data frame is a series. So I like to do this all the time. Check the data type. And it tells me that it's a pandas series. Now the reason why I like to check the data type is because then I can know what methods to use on that object, um, you know, and I can go into the documentation and then see what I can use to help me do my analysis. So I want to plot a histogram of all the ages. And so what I can do is I can take the new variable that I have created, the series dot the series underscore age and then use the plot function and I can specify the kind of plot that I want and I say I want a histogram and so over here it plots the histogram that means that it's telling me that between 0 and 20 there are you know maybe so let's say between 0 and 10 they are roughly just about 17,500 of the records that fall in that bucket. And then it goes on and on and on. So what I can tell from this data source is that obviously as the age goes up, you have fewer people in there. It looks like we have the majority of uh, people falling like uh, as children. That's the, this bin has the most the most um the most people and then it's followed by the age 40s like late 30s early 40s and then all the way up until the 60 70 range and then it drops off so that's the distribution of the ages and so if you wanted to get rid of this over here you can put a semicolon and then you can plot this now, one thing that you can also do is we can specify the, the axis labels. And so we can specify the axis labels. And so that's where PLT comes in. And so PLT dot Y label, I'm calling this the frequency, the X label is the ages, and then the title is the age histogram. Now, another thing that we could do is rather than assigning this to this series age, we can write the command this way. And so Python would execute this from left to right, meaning that first it will get all the ages and then it's going to run the plot method of kind histogram on all the ages. And here we go. We have the same plot over here. Now with PLT, that's the matplotlib pyplot library, we can change a lot of things like the bins, um, we can change colors, we can do a lot of uh, work around these plots to make it look more pretty. But for the purposes of this course, I just wanted to show you how to use the basic plots in, in, uh, in Pandas. So the next thing we'll look at here is plotting categorical values. And there are three of them that I wanted to look at. The first is the gender. And so for categorical values, we want to plot, you know, a bar chart to see how frequently uh, we have males versus females. And so what we need to do first is to count our values. And so we have DF hospital appointments. And then we have gender and then we use a method value counts and what that gives us is a breakdown of how many female and how many male uh, patients are in this data set and so what we can do is we can assign this to a variable and say this is the gender counts and then we can plot the gender counts and we want 
a bar chart. And so it's about 70,000 females and roughly close to 40,000 males in this data set. Now we can do the same thing with, you know, specifying what the labels are, the access labels. And also we can specify the data labels as well. But for now, for this, for the purposes of this course, I'm just going to specify the access labels. And instead of ages here, I'll do gender. And then I'll do gender. bar chart. Now the copy and paste I did, it's not usually recommended. I just took a shortcut there, which is pretty bad. Typically you will want to type out, you know, every line of code so that you don't make any mistakes during your copy and paste. Now the next um, thing that I wanted to show you was rather than storing the, the value counts in a variable like we did, you can just do the same thing where you have your DF hospital appointments, gender, you count the values, and then you, you do the plot, which is the bar chart plot. And so we can do this, we can take, this is just pretty much the same thing. And then we have our labels for our axes. Now we are looking at no show, right? So no show is telling us okay, which patient showed up or which patient did not show up. And for this one, I want to have a horizontal bar chart. So the kind is bar H. And these are the of these options, you can look at them in the in the documentation. And so if you go in, and you Google um, pandas plot method, for example, so the first result gives us the plot method, data frame plot. And then it tells us these are all the different kinds of, of plots that we can, we can specify in that method. So bar H is a horizontal bar plot. We've already looked at histogram. We can do box plots. We can do area plots, pie charts, scatter plots, line charts. And that line chart is the default. If you don't specify anything, it will try and give you a line chart. And then these are other, these are other options. You can specify the figure size, you know, the title, legends. There's a ton of options over here. There's color. And so, yeah, when you have the opportunity, you can go in and look at some of these options and then play around with the plots. But in this case, I wanted to show the no show in a horizontal bar chart. We can do title being a no show appointment. And then we can do, I believe it's X label and Y label. Yes, that's X label and Y label. So we can specify the X axis and the Y axis. So the X axis is the, I'll call it account. And then the Y axis, I'll call it um, say no show with a question mark. Um, oh yeah, it's a horizontal, so I need to switch it up. So the Y label is counts and then the X label says no show. So no show is yes or no. All right, now the final one that we're gonna look at is a very interesting one, which is the neighborhoods. So if we plot this, and let me adjust the figure size 
to and the, the input is a tuple which we can say is say 10 by 8. If I plot this, what it gives me here is there's so many different um, neighborhoods in this data set. And so what we might want to do is what if we wanted just the top 20 neighborhoods, right? And so what we can do is we can break this down and say, okay, we can take DF hospital appointments neighborhood do the value counts and so this gives us all of the neighborhoods starting from the most frequently occurring all the way to the least frequently occurring now we can do this and say this is neighborhood counts is equal to this and then like I my, my favorite activity we can check the type of neighborhood count it's also a pandas series and so we can slice this series meaning we can select the number of rows that we care about and so let's say we wanted the top 20 rows we would just do neighborhood counts and zero column 20 and so that gives us the top 20 rows now you can get rid of the zero and it will still return the same the same thing and so if we wanted to plot just the top 20 all we could do is we can take Uh, neighborhood counts slice it to give us a top 20 and do a plot and the kind of plot we want is a horizontal bar chart the X label is our neighborhoods and then the Y label will be counts and then we can specify our figure size to be something bigger maybe 15 by 8 and then we can put the semicolon run this and it gives us our top 20 neighborhoods all right now we can do the same here and just um, after the value count we can put a colon and 20 and so that would slice the data for us and give and give us the top 20 neighborhood so this brings us to the end of some basic plotting in python um, and in our next course we're going to look at filtering data again but this time using boolean indices and then we'll talk through defining Python functions, we'll look at aggregating data, and that should bring us to the close of this Python basics course.